It's funny, thinking back, when I got my start in Warner Brothers feature development, I probably suggested to you three or four times for film composition. You know, I thought, you know, this is this would be our guy, and I still think that, now that I'm over at NBC Universal, I still think, you know, if you can if you can convince John Anderson that it's worthy, that it's got some sort of element interesting to him in it, maybe he would consider doing the music, because I always felt like your music transcended such a visual that it would have been a perfect component for film. That's interesting because I always think that I'm writing music and I'd love to write for film. And that's how I met my wife. She was working for Ron Howard and uh, they didn't want any music that I was doing at the time, but I got the girl. Which yeah. is cool. <laughs> What's your favorite movie of all time? Oh, boy. I've got a list, actually. I watch them every year. Uh, Lawrence of Arabia, Citizen Kane, uh, The Magnificent Ambersons, and... If I get the chance, I'll watch The Godfather. Godfather, yeah, one and two. Do you have time on the road to watch things like Lawrence of Arabia? No, but uh, we watch movies all the time when we're traveling. We're, we're just watching uh, something called Bridgehead. Uh, it was Bridgehead is an English uh, kind of uh, yeah. classic thing, you know. And, uh, so, you know, I always watch something on the road. I don't know why. Hey, can I ask you a question out of left field? Would it taint your impression of Lawrence of Arabia if uh, you probably know this, that he was, it's rumored that he was well aware what was going to happen in the Mideast after World War I, that in the movie he kind of plays it that he was fighting for like a, an Arab League or an Arab Republic, but it's now sort True. of come out, you know. Mm, I, I hate to think it? that. I mean, well, I thought he was an incredible person, incredible uh, human being, and he was right in a way. One of the great things that he said to Omar Sharif was that you you are a little people because you don't understand each tribe. You don't get on. There's too many tribes not agreeing with each other and whose water is what and stuff. So you are a little people. And then, of course, they discovered oil. And that was it. Changed the world. Right. Right. It's so funny because every year we do a Christmas event for homeless kids. And I always think of that Anthony Quinn line of like, I'm poor. Because I'm a river to the people, and that's actually the case. Oh, <laughs> it's incredible. David Lee, one of my favorite, uh, you know, because he did Dutch Barbara as well. So I'm very locked into that, you know. They were known as Lucifer and the men with painted faces. When they burned New Orleans to the ground. And when they sacked Panama, I knew that my road to redemption would be paved with tombstones. And by the time they brought the apocalypse to West Africa, and the Indian Ocean, I would come to know two words with biblical significance. No quarter. No quarter. Kill all masters. Rated R. Coming soon. Available on all platforms. Visit noquarterkillallmasters.com.